Okay, position sizing. Guys, if you haven't already, check out parts one and two as this provides a base in which to follow and hopefully understand this video. Parts one and two focused on position sizing for accounts denominated in the same currency as the Forex pair's quote value, as well as how to size positions for an account currency identical to the base currency of the Forex pair. Part three will look at how to determine your position size if you're trading currency pairs that aren't in your account denomination. To help explain things, our friend John is back at his trading desk and has an account denominated in US dollars, looking at a possible setup in Euro pound at around zero spot 8678. To keep things simple, John trades a $10,000 account and the trade he's interested in requires a 50 pip stop. So it's more of a swing trade this time around. John also adheres to a 2% risk per trade approach, so $200. Also, to calculate position size here, John will need the pound dollar exchange rate, which is currently 1 spot 3901. The first step requires calculating risk size in John's account currency, which we already know to be 2% or $200. The next step involves John converting his dollar risk to GBP risk as the currency pair he is trading has a quote currency set in GBP. And if you remember, currency pairs are always valued via quote currencies. To do this, he needs the pound dollar exchange rate, which as I already noted, trades at one spot 3901. As you can see in this case, John's account denomination is the same as the conversion pairs quote currency value. So the calculation is simply John's $200 account risk multiplied by an inverted pound dollar exchange rate, which simply means one divided by one spot 3901, equating to zero spot 7193, to give a one for three spot 87 GBP risk value. Now we have GBP risk value in hand, the next step involves converting GBP risk to PIP value. So John divides one for three spot 87 by 50, the stop loss in pips, for his euro pound trade to give a two spot 8774 GBP per pip value. John must then finally multiply this value by the known unit to pip value ratio, which is always 10,000 units. To do this, he multiplies two spot 8774 GBP per pip by 10,000 units to give approximately 28,774 units, which is the notional value to trade euro pound with a 50 pip stop. So this is in the region of 2.8 mini lots or two mini lots and eight micro lots. If your account denomination is not in the currency pair traded, but is the same as the conversion pairs base currency, then you simply follow the same calculation as just shown. So for example, a GBP account trading dollar CAD. First, we determine risk in GBP. Second, convert GBP risk to CAD risk, as CAD is the quote currency of the pair traded. For this, we would need the current exchange rate for pound CAD. Third, we convert CAD risk to PIP value. Fourth and finally, we calculate the position size by multiplying the CAD PIP value by the known unit to PIP value ratio, 10,000 units. And you'll be left with an accurate position size calculation. Look guys, once you have a handle on these calculations, it's a relatively straightforward process. However, many traders choose to rely on online position size calculators. Even if you choose this route, at least you'll now be one of the few who actually understand the calculations that goes on behind the scenes.